Little People Big Roll star Matt Roloff has fans convinced that he didn't plan on letting his children purchase the family farm. The reality star has passed up offers from his twin sons Jeremy and Zach before putting the property on the market last month. While Matt appeared to be interested in his children taking over the farm following his retirement, Reddit users aren't sure that was ever the case. One person started the thread writing, I really feel like Matt didn't want either of his sons to buy that property, he did the negotiations just for show. The fan also questioned Matt's girlfriend Karen Chandler's role in the discussion-making process. I don't think Karen should have been in the meeting. Also, did they just have one meeting and it was done? Matt and Amy took months to negotiate. Matt previously owned the farm with his ex-wife Amy before dividing up the property in their divorce settlement. Others agreed that Roloff Patriarch may have never intended to sell the farm to his boys. One person remarked, I think Matt really needs the money to build Karen's dream home. I don't think they cared who bought it as long as they paid what he wants for it. He needs to pay Amy still and any debts he has and build a dream home. The boys obviously offered much less than he needed. Another agreed while bashing Matt's controlling behavior. I don't believe Matt ever truthfully wanted or wants to sell the farm. The farm literally is Matt, it's his identity. I think he always made it sound like he wanted to have his sons take over one day because it sounded like the dead thing to say, but he was far too invested and controlling to let it go. It's still listed after a month on the market at the 4 million price tag. Maybe an unpopular opinion here, but I honestly wonder if he wouldn't be able to handle watching one of his sons run that piece of the farm and heaven forbid they were successful or more successful than him. I think that would have hurt his pride. Meanwhile, another fan defended Matt's choice to turn down his son's offers. It's Matt's property and he doesn't owe anyone anything, including his kids. He should get as much as he can for his property. They added, people acting like Matt is selfish or greedy or doesn't try are just plain wrong. The family's feud has played out on the latest season of LPBW as tensions run high between Matt and his son Zach after the young dad's plan to buy the farm fell through. Jeremy also made an offer at which Matt refused. Matt instead decided to put a 16-acre plot of the family's land up for sale. According to the Wall Street Journal, the father of four is asking for about $4 million with the sale of the original family home and bright red barn. Jeremy seems to have found a silver lining, however, as he and his wife Audrey announced that they purchased the farm in Oregon. The 1979 built two-story farmhouse in Hillsboro, Oregon was bought for an estimated $1.5 million last month. It's just a seven-minute drive from Rolla Farms, boasting four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Inside, the house is a little dated, which should pose no problems to Jeremy, a big fan of home renovations. It boasts a vast living room with exposed brick and wood paneling. The TV stars can enjoy breathtaking views of the surrounding forest and mountains as they unwind in the evenings. Above the huge kitchen is a mezzanine area, which could be used as an office. As well as four bedrooms and another reception room, there is also a games room, which is large enough to accommodate a snooker table. Outside, an expansive patio offers an incredible view of the Trestle Bridge, where Jeremy and Audrey engaged back in 2015. The house sits on four acres of land and also features a workshop, a garage and the potential for an accessory dwelling unit for their family's guests. In an email newsletter, Jeremy and his wife told their followers about their significant real estate move. After a two-year search spanning all over the state of Oregon, we bought a farm, they announced. The property is the perfect size for the couple's growing family as they are parents to three children, Amber, four, Bo, two, and newborn baby, Radley. That's it for now, thank you for watching, please subscribe to stay tuned.